runs past the camera. It's such gusto. You're such a good girl. There we go. Beautiful. All right, good morning everyone. Today we're going to be taking Vietti and Johnny out for an enrichment walk. Three, two, one. Hello. Oh. Uh, the first part of the walks are always my favorite because <laughs> they have so much energy. Smelt something. What have you smelt there, boy? Well, Jenny, I don't know if you can see her there, waiting patiently in the bush to jump on either him or me. Look at that face. You look ridiculous, Vaetsi. Guy's fuzzed his mane up. Yo! Makes you look a lot bigger. Look at her. Stalking, stalking, stalking. See how he licks it. He licks that smell, gets it all over his vomeronasal organ, in, uh, inhales it, gets that brain all tingly. Makes him feel good has therapeutic effects, healing effects, anti-inflammatory effects. And uh, this is all part and parcel of why we allow these guys to come out. Not going to get that kind of enrichment in his camp. Okay, and that's it. Oh no, she's coming in. Okay, so there's obviously some smell here that's really, really awesome. So she was actually waiting her turn. She did want to jump on him. I don't think she's going to rub it on herself as much. Let's see if he's as patient to wait for us. Nope. He's going. So I'm going to hang with him, my girlie. Sorry. So how is Mr. Big? Mr. Big is doing well. He seems a lot less grumpy. So I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, the health checks revealed nothing. We did every kind of check and uh, scan we could possibly do on, on Vietsi because at one point I was quite worried. But uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing came up. And uh, so we've just kind of... Here she comes. <laughs> Always wants to be ahead. Yeah, so it's interesting because we haven't really done much other than, you know, watch his diet, feed him as much as we, as much as we um, can within reason. Um, he's picked up a bit of weight, which was one of the big problems uh, that I noticed. And the other thing is that distended abdomen, which he's still tends to have. Uh, also, as you can see the little uh, spinous processes on the back, got a little bit lower there, um, which, you know, is not a sign of, of great condition. The real telltale sign with Vietsi is the mood. The mood is a lot better. He's a happier cat. One of the things is how he treats Ginny. So I obviously look at that a lot. And uh, when I see he treats her nicely, <laughs> then you generally know things are going well. As you can see, Paetzi's got a lot of energy. Nothing wrong with his energy levels.
in the past if she had have uh, smacked him like that he uh, yeah he, he he would have got a bit grumpy with her um, so her playfulness is totally accepted now um, and that just shows a sign of his his gen general uh, health and happiness oh, 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 oh. yo what you say hey you scratching your ear on my gopro hey hello my gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> you smell like, you smell like wilder, what poo do you smell like? You smell like some kind of poo. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to... Mm. Oh, he's making dust. He's making dust there, Mongoli. I love that about her. She runs past the camera with such gusto. Look at me, look at me. It's so wonderful. Oh, it's very nice, my girlie. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Oh, yes. Endearing. So one of the questions that's come up quite a bit is uh, my audience sees me go from, for example, a hyena enclosure and then I go straight to a leopard enclosure and then I go straight to a lion enclosure with the smell of all those animals all over me. And they want to know why the respective animals don't smell the smell and attack me. Um, and guys, the reason is twofold or probably more than twofold, but two main reasons I'm going to give you. One is because these animals know who I am. They have a relationship with me that spans most of them here at the sanctuary over a decade, some two decades. So this is a long uh, relationship. And as you can imagine, and I like to put that into, into a context that people can relate to or understand. So if you can think about your dog, your lovely dog or your lovely cat, and you think about them and you think about uh, as we come across some more poo poo. Let's uh, stand on the side because sometimes when you get between a lion and his poo poo, he can become quite, uh, quite unhappy. So we'll stay here. Let's go. The dog uh, analogy. So you come home or your dog or your cat and you've been with another dog. You've been a naughty human being. You've been giving another dog attention. And what does your dog do? All he does is he sniffs and smells you. He doesn't get all aggro with you as to where you've been. He wants to know where you've been, you know? So new smells, definitely you're going to see a different reaction because it's a new smell. So if you think about it, these animals here at the sanctuary, I've known for a long, long time. They've known each other for a long, long time. Their smells are permeating the air daily. So they get to know each other. And so when I've gone with all these animals over all these years, and they're all with each other, well, you know, obviously they understand that that's so-and-so. Uh, smell. So they'll sniff you, but they're not going to get super excited about it because there's no point. All right, while we're waiting for Mr. Big to catch up, uh, Jenny and I are just walking ahead a bit. Another uh, question that's come through, not just one, it's, it's quite a common comment or question, and I suppose it's, it's, it's only natural that people think it or want to ask it. And uh, the question is, um, I'm walking these lines in this vast area 
what happens if I come across another lion? Here comes the vehicle. Finish my story in a bit. No, no, laziness, you're not going home just yet. You think your ride's arrived, eh? Yo, lazy cats. At least we don't need to worry about this line and tires. I hope. Famous last words. Oh, it's wet in there. I don't think you're going to like it in there, Jenny. It's wet. You can go and check it out. It's a little bit wet. Eh? A little bit wet. Nothing major. Didn't need any enticing to get in there. You think you're getting something? You got fed yesterday. Don't be greedy. All right, so just while we wait for Vietzi, um, let's talk about the, oh, here he comes. <laughs> Mr. Big, you're scuppering my plans, big boy. Is it my boy? Is the ride come? Your free ride. Yeah. Mm, you're going to plunk your butt down here in the door. Very smart. Very smart lion. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Jenny. Such a good girl. There we go. A little bit more. I only give it to lionesses that are really good girls. Okay. Okay, so the question uh, that's come up is when I'm walking, and am I not scared that I'm going to come across other animals? So actually this area that I'm walking in now is uh, a camp of 50, 55 hectares and it was purposefully built for these walks. So it's plenty of, of um, room for the animals to get good exercise and to appreciate, you know, clawing the trees and getting new smells and stimulations. There's a nice dam in the middle, so it's a, it's a really nice area. So. Um, so the chances of coming across predators in here are very slim, excepting for uh, jackal and caracal, serval, and uh, what else? Um, leopard. You could even get a leopard in here. But, and that's because uh, fences, uh, no matter how good they are, um, these animals are always going to find a way under um, or around or through or somehow they they figure out ways to get to get through these fences That's that's the animals that I've just mentioned lions and spotted hyenas generally not unless there's a, a very um, big motivation uh, Hence why the the fence checks of these uh, fences is very very important and the guys do them daily Hello boy, oh Oh, 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 yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, all that's left to say is until next time from me, Kevin. Bye, your new home for a period. Right guys, so welcome to Kenya. We're going to head out um, searching for a black leopard, <laughs> a melanist. I can't believe I'm saying that. We are here in Kenya, in Laikipia country, at the Laikipia Wilderness Camp.